Hi, this is Catherine from In The Pink Designs. My project for today is a little trick-or-treat gift for all the puppies that come around my neighborhood. Hopefully they will still come around my neighborhood this year. Um, I mistakenly got the small bones because I usually get the big box of milk bones. So I assumed those were the small ones. Apparently not. The ones they usually get, I get a big box, <laughs> I guess that's the medium bones. But I made the box a little bit bigger so that you should be able to fit two of, two of the medium bones if that's what you have or whatever. Then you can get different brands and they should all fit different amounts. Okay? Now I made a mistake with this one because, well I didn't really make a mistake. I cut my paper and I realized that was my last piece of green or orange or purple because I've used it. Um, I like the more cheery uh, so Halloween projects so I didn't buy the DSP this this time but I probably should have or I should have bought two packs of the brights because they have the, the cheerful Halloween colors we like. All right so I used playful pets I'm sorry pampered pets and the uh, playful pets dies. I used gather together for the little pumpkin and the gathered leaves dies. And I used festive corners for this. And I think this time I'm going to add a little spider coming down on there. Okay. And we're going to do it. Now I used cardstock and then just put the green on because I only had little bits. Um, and I don't have any orange or purple or green to show it to you, but I want to show you how you can use one piece of your 6x6 six six paper cut down a little. Um, so I'll show you that way. This way I just kind of Frankensteined it together. All right. So we need a piece of the 6x6 six six or any designer series paper. You can get four out of a bigger one. I'm going to get my Simply Score. Under here. And I'm going to put it on the six inch side at the top. All right, and we're going to score at half an inch, two and three quarters, three and a quarter, and five and a half. I'm going to turn it to the four and three quarter side, and we're going to score it at one half, three and three quarters, and four and a quarter. And as always, I will link these measurements. I will link my blog below that will have all the measurements written. All right, I'm just going to fold these. I always see, we always get the dogs around and I always thought to myself, why don't I make them a little something? And this year I'm gonna. Everything, not this one. Okay. Alrighty. And this is what we want to do. Excuse the little stamping there in the tape. <laughs> All right, it's not too much cutting. I'm just going to cut the bottom apart and cut off this one. All right. So with the, oh, we'll cut off this one, I think. With the double lines at the top and this half inch on the right. I mean, you could cut either one of these, I guess, but I'm going to do the one on the right because that's usually what the, it is to make the box. And then just wedge a little bit up there. And then we're going to keep the rectangle straight and just tiny, tiny bit will wedge off of the squares. It's basically just taking out the um, score lines. All right. All right, and now before we put the box together, we're going to do our stamping. Now I already stamped and cut out the puppy from Play Pampered Pets and the pumpkin from Gathered Together. 
Um, but we need the corner from Festive Corners, and I'm going to do the little spider hanging down, too. All right, now let's just figure out. This is going to be our back, so this will be our front here, okay? And what we want to do is put it in the main rectangle and right here, none of the folds, you can see that. Okay, that's where we want to stamp it. And I have the Trick or Treat Happy Halloween corner. Just want to make sure I get it so, so it's on my DSP so I don't want to mess anything up. All right, and I'm just going to put this in the corner. Sorry for my head. Perfect. Okay. And then I'm going to take the little spider that hangs down. And I'm just going to hang him right off of that. That's good. He didn't fold. Thank goodness. I thought I made him fold around the corner, but he did not. All right. And now these are all dry and ready for us to color. Okay, for the dog, I used, for his nose, I used dark and light basic black. And I used the dark just on that back part of his nose there. And then I used the light on the front part. Okay. All right, and then for the body, I used the light and dark smoky slate. And I used the dark first, and I just went along the edges where it would be a little bit of shadow on the side of him. I just put a little line and then went by his collar, under his mouth, this and right here and then just down the back of his head and then just a little bit right here and where the shadow would be. Okay, and then, sorry, <laughs> and then all in here is dark. And on his belly, too. Okay, and then I used the light, and I just kind of blended it. Just pulled down a little to blend it. Pulled up. What you can also cut the designer series paper has the exact uh, image of this puppy, so you can also just cut it out instead of having to color it. And you can. This box will also fit other candy bars or little trinkets in it, so you don't have to use this just for a dog. You can use decorate this in a totally different way. Okay. And I used, I made his collar dark pumpkin pie. Or her collar, I guess. I always think of it as a, the he, because it reminds me of Lady and the Tramp. Okay, now he's done. And for the pumpkins, I used dark pumpkin pie, and I just came down from the top with it, and then up from the bottom. And along where they meet, where a shadow would be. 
Okay, and we might have to blend it in a little more. But I put white pumpkin pie. I just pulled a little bit from the bottom and pulled a little bit from the top to blend it. So they look like they kind of shine in the middle. You know, what can, you can do is with the pointy end, you can just pull a few little strips down where it's shiny through it if you want to. You don't have to do that. And then I made the stems green. You could do them brown too. Okay. And that's our coloring. All righty. Okay, let that set that aside. And now we need our tear and tape. And you're going to put it on the piece that you wedged up. Okay. Okay, what I always do is I fold over one side. And this is going to be a little harder. Okay, I'll fold this one over and bring this one to meet it. Oh, and I just, let me see if I can straighten it out. I'm getting a little rough. There we go. Okay. And then, let me try to straighten this because I really bent it. That's a shame. All right, that's not too bad. Okay, and then this, I'm just going to squeeze it the other way a little. This is going to be our front, so we'll put the back, the side tabs in, pull up the back, and then we need some tear and tape on this. And this I put closest to the edge. Try to square it up. Okay. I'm going to put our bones. Now, if you're going to give it within the next week or so, you really don't need to wrap up the bones. And I stick it in. But we could also stick in some Nestle Crunch. Or Hershey bars will fit also. Okay, so you don't even have to do it with a doggy theme. You can use the same box for whatever you like. I'm going to put my bones in. Okay, and then I'm just going to push on the sides and squeeze a little bit. Alrighty. Okay. So it just did that. And now I used a library clip that I got because we don't have them. We used to. Maybe we'll get them back again. Uh, I got them from Amazon. I will put a link. They don't say what they call them, but I'll find it out and I'll link them. I call them library clips. Sometimes they call them bulldog clips, I think. And that will be our closure. But you could also just punch two little holes and instead of putting the ribbon on the top of the hole, you can put it through. Okay, this is just a little piece of Daffodil Delight ruched ribbon. I think I cut this off way too much, but it's easier for your fingers if it's a little longer. I stuck it through the hole, opened the loop, and put them through the loop, the ends through the loop, and pulled it. Yeah, <laughs> I, I really wasted a bunch of ribbon that time because I'm going to cut them kind of small. That's all right. Okay, so that's our front. OK, 
Okay, and then I just used some liquid adhesive or liquid glue for putting on the puppy. I call all dogs puppies. They're all my puppies, no matter how old they are. There we go. And I put him on. And then I used pop dots, um, <laughs> dimensionals for the pumpkins. And then I just put some rhinestones. These are the Noble Peacock. I just love the colors, but it is retired, but you could color. This is a Granny Apple Green. You could color uh, regular plain rhinestones with your blends. Or use the pretty black iridescent pearls that we have in the catalog, the holiday catalog. There we go. And I think I'm going to put a purple one like on his collar. I didn't do that before, but I'm going to do it now. There we go. I didn't do it on this one. I will. Okay, there you go. This one is all one piece, so you don't have to deal with cutting out. And I would have done it in purple, orange, or green, but I didn't have any of those colors left. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, you can buy any of these things from me uh, from Stampin' Up! at the address at the top of the screen. And I would love it if you, you would subscribe to my YouTube channel. And hit the like button if you like it. Thank you so much. I will see you next time. Bye.